Good morning, YouTube, or in this case, good evening. So, <sighs> memories. The memories are coming back. This is actually Lake Ramsey. I'm actually in my hometown, like the, the place that I grew up, Sudbury, Lake Ramsey. That right next to me is a beach that I haven't been to in over 20 years. So the memories are just coming back. So with today's video, I'm gonna give you five great beach fragrances, pool party fragrances, barbecue fragrances, patio fragrances. These are just perfect for the beach or even like what I just named, pool party, barbecue, and so on. So when it comes to these types of fragrances, you need different types of fragrances. You need your citruses, you need your aquatics, but you also need a good mint fragrance. And that's what Hugo Boss Hugo Iced is. So you're gonna get tea, green mint. There's gonna be that bitter orange, some juniper, but also some vetiver. This is just energizing mint. The mint in this is green, it is herbal, and it smells really good. Believe it or not, when I reviewed this one a couple years ago, I kind of thought it was redundant. But I got this for a really good price tag, and I'm like, this ain't so bad. But just, again, green mint, but that bitter orange, you're gonna get the juniper, but as well, the tea and the woods. Just sensational. This is gonna be one of the more energizing fragrances in this list. So when it comes to beach fragrances, you generally don't think of like freshwater lakes. You think of, the sea, the ocean. So you need something that's tropical, right? Well, that is what Kenneth Cole Reaction T-shirt is. This one is not as easily available as it once was, but you can get this here and there. But just very refreshing, very aromatic, very fruity. There is gonna be the watermelon. There is apple, there is citrus, but there's also passion fruit. So the passion fruit, and I believe that there's also pear, but it's more passion fruit and that watermelon that really adds that, that extra layer of fresh, but there's a nice gin, there's some lavender, some musk, but as well some sandwood or some, or some sort of woods. This is just very underrated. It's just uber casual and it's just very refreshing the downfall with this one however is when it comes to this list this is going to be the lightest one out of the entire video like you're going to get no more than four hours probably more than like probably more like two to three than anything but just reapply as the day goes by and very much like the name itself t-shirt that's what this fragrance is speaking of t-shirt and this is no sponsor but if you want to check out the ends from bishop brigante i've done a few videos with him please check him out all links will be down in the description box below and best wishes to bishop because he's actually battling stage four colon cancer so the man is definitely on his grind when it comes to the music but as well his activist because he's trying to get the age of 50 lowered down to 35 because i'm 47 he's younger than i am and he and he's battling right now so best wishes to bishop so when it comes to beaches again ocean tropical so you need a good sea salty fragrance and that is what tommy bahama set sail saint bart's is or or even just tommy bahama saint bart so i get i get the name wrong but this is actually really nice. So there's definitely a lot of lime. There is that sea, so that sea salty accord or marine notes. There is gin, there is palm leaf, musk, agave, and so on. This is pretty much very, very much like, in some ways, like a margarita. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Now, when it comes to like best margarita fragrance, I would have to go with bond number nine, uh, Coney Island. Don't have that bottle right now. Chad Secrets is borrowing it. But if you're looking to save some money, this is something that you might want to look into. This also gets comparisons to Creed's, uh, Creed's Virgin Island Water. And I could say that it does in some ways. Creed has done way better. I will definitely admit that. But for like 20 bucks at pretty much all retailers like Ross, TJ Maxx, online, Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, it's really easily available no more than five hours. Fragrance number four, in my opinion, this one is actually quite unique, but at the same time, it's very mass appealing. That's gonna be Ralph Lauren Polo Sport Fresh. If you are a Gen Xer, you grew up, more than likely grew up with the original Polo Sport. I find that this is, I don't wanna say a modern take, like a, like a take of the original, because 
it is different. There is some similarities because it does have that freshness. It does have that cleanliness. But what makes this one different is going to be the iris. The iris in this, in a sports fragrance, you would not think, but it's actually done quite nicely. So the iris does give it a little bit of a powdery undertone. You are going to get some green mint, some citrus, but as well, you're going to get that sea salty marine take as well. And there's also going to be, of course, your typical woods. So whether that's driftwood or cedar or whatever, just woods. Very nice, very, very refreshing. So I did state that the Hugo Boss Hugo Ice is going to be the most energizing. I would say that this is going to be the most refreshing. And last but not least, for beach fragrance, patio, barbecue, pool party, you need a really good citrus scent. This one is a hate or love. There's not really an, an in-between, but man, do I love this one. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. This has the most authentic grapefruit that I have ever smelt. The grapefruit is tart, it is bitter, it is sour, kind of like your guy right here, but it's just, unlike me, it's very refreshing. Some people might find that my honesty is very refreshing in today's world, so, eh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, dad joke, come on, this is me, right? But that grapefruit is very much like when you're peeling that grapefruit and you put your nose to it. Very riny, super authentic. There is gonna be that marine notes, there's also violet leaves that makes this a very aromatic fragrance. And the dry down is like vetiver, I think patchouli, but definitely the musk. I love this one. Don't blind buy. Now, if you love grapefruit fragrances, then maybe. But definitely sample this if you can. You can get decans on this on a, a lot of uh, decanting websites. But man, again, one of the most authentic grapefruit fragrances I have ever smelt. And guys, that is five great beach fragrances, barbecue, pool party, whatever for the summertime. Any reviews that I've done on these fragrances, they will all be down in the description box below. Because that this is a mixed match of pretty much, well, they're pretty much all cheapies. The most expensive one I would say is probably this one and maybe this one. So what I'm gonna do, if you wanna see a cheapy list, check out right here. And if you wanna see a niche one, check out right here. And if you like this very video, please leave me one of these. So if you like this type of background, let me know in the, in the comment section below, guys. It feels good to be home. My wife has not seen me this happy in a very long time. So just a lot of memories just flooding back to me. So I'm going to end it now because you're probably hearing a little bit of the noise. So I think of a time to take care and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.